even that, you know, he's just a very frustrated guy. First of all, you know, he's shouting on the radio like a child. It is just like a child. And then, um, you know, after the start finish, to do things like that, like that, you know, it's even more childish. I mean, it's ridiculous what he did. I mean, I've never any, well, I've never ever done something like that even close, you know. Give me the position, end of the story. Charlie said that, Charlie said Yeah, you know what, here's the message for Charlie. Off, oh, honestly, off. Oh. Okay, Sebastian, Sebastian, calm down, calm down. They, they are under investigation. I know that is not fair, but calm down. Well, I think he's a great kid, you know, he's fast, he's pushing, uh, he's redefining the limits um, not in a negative way but in terms of pushing you know uh, playing with the car etc is doing a lot of stuff he's a skilled kid you know I like him in general I think some of the moves on track he needs to learn and needs to calm down because sometimes I think he's ultimately hurting himself more than he's actually helping himself looking back at the 2016 Mexico GP it was quite the duel between Verstappen and Vettel Sebastian Determined to make a move, found himself dealing with Max's robust defense. It was like trying to pass through a revolving door, only the door was doing donuts. Vettel, being the experienced driver he is, must have felt like he was in a racing version of Mission, impossible dodging every move Verstappen made. The battle was intense, and Seb's radio messages were probably more entertaining than the on-track action. In the end, it showcased the competitive spirit of Formula One. Whether you're a Vettel or Verstappen fan, you couldn't deny the thrill of the chase. Racing, after all, is a blend of strategy, skill, and sometimes a touch of humor. The 2016 Mexico GP certainly had its fair share of all three. You can share your thoughts about this race.